the hell was that? Anyway, what's up guys? We're it's Chris Kane again. We're gonna be playing uh, Undertale Red boss fight, uh, but under pacifist rules. So it was really interesting when we did the genocide run in the first video. But now we're gonna do just just mess around. Let's try talking. You politely greet your new guest. Huh? Okay, this one wasn't too bad if I remember. But yeah, it turns out we just do what we're supposed to do in a pacifist. Just don't fight. Red tucks at her ribbon nervously. You shrug seductively. Red doesn't know what to make of it. Oh god, how did I get hit by that? I smell like pomegranates. But I hope you guys are doing well. You clap your powder cover hands until Red starts coughing. Yeah, now that genocide run was no joke. It was so cool. Red is considering her options. You ask Red about her day. Hey, knock that off. You here on serious business, huh? Man, Red draws little shapes in the dirt with her blade. Her blade? Where's the blade at? You don't need healing yet. You tell Red about your journey you've had and the friends you've made. Are you listening to me? I don't play games. I'm taking more damage than I should be doing. Alright, let's take a bite at this. Oh, this is an easy one. Unless they go through the middle. Doesn't look like it. You tell Red you don't want to fight. <gasps> You're kidding. What's with you? Just straight up trying to strike friendly conversation in the middle of battle? Who? What kind of... You know what? No. If you don't want to fight, I'll have to make you. That's not going to happen. What was that about? What the? <laughs> oh man, I'm not sure. Yeah, we're just going to try to say something. But Rude Baby Red... Rude Baby Red just keeps on going. Look like acting won't do yourself any good until she tires herself out. Oh, this is sick music. You think I haven't heard of, heard of you already? Oh my god. Man, my luck with girls lately. Someone needs to calm. Someone needs to calm down. Oh my god. Here I'm having trouble coming up with any good material. I need papyrus. A new world has been opened for us. I've never been so excited. Bark, bark, arf, arf. Whatever that's supposed to mean. What the fuck is this? It's a game of chance. <gasps> it was. Huh. Interesting. What a bunch of nonsense. You're nonsense. So just last it- Oh god. So just last- <gasps> Fuck. That's not too bad. Red uh, does her best to forget the joke you made earlier. It's not working. Grim's in trouble coming up with good material. I have a joke! You're human, you're the last key to freedom. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, fuck. Man, I need to pay attention to when it's cross or plus sign, but it's hard to keep track. I just need a little health. You can be as much of a sweetheart as you want, but it's not going to change anything. Mm, this one. Oh, fuck. That's crazy. I gotta go for the hot dog. It's not even just anyone that comes your way, isn't it? Okay, I'm starting to get better at it. Ooh. Flirt? You shrug seductively. Red doesn't know what to make of it. Are you so obsessed with befriending everyone you meet that you'll throw your own life on the line just to do it? Yeah. What the fuck is this? <gasps> oh, I still get hit. Whoa. 
talk some more. You try to say something, but Rude Baby Red doesn't. Looks like acting won't do uh, any good until she tires herself out. Why even bother? You're... You're just gonna get yourself killed. What the fuck is this? Mmm! Oh my god, there's no place to stand. Oh, right here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What was that? And all those monsters you befriended? They'll break their hearts. Oh my god. <laughs> this is some scary shit. That wasn't too bad. Come on, come up with some good material. Come up with a dumb joke about bones. Oh fuck. Alright, that's impossible. <gasps> oh, what? I need like all my health for that. Jesus. Dude, you really are in a real hurry, aren't you? Well, I don't know where you got the idea, but I'm not interested in being your friend. Pfft. So keep that garbage to yourself. Red's grip is trembling. Why won't you fight back? Okay, this shit's impossible. Oh my god, how? How? Oh, wow. Doesn't help that I wrecked my health uh, getting caught in the uh, walls, but damn. That was new. Dialogue boxes in shambles. Okay, now this shit. I don't even know. I'm trying, but damn. Doesn't really matter if I heal or not, because all we're doing is trying to waste turns. Won't you fight back? Oh wait, this is different. Kinda. That's not too bad. Oh my god, he's just mixing everything up. Run there. Oh my god. What in the fuck? Oh my god, this must be the last one. Oh. 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 I hate this. I hate this so much. Wait, what? In a minute. Talk. You asked Red what's wrong. You remember the canine unit, right? If you pass through Snowden, you must have... Well, when I heard them talking about you, it... It scared me. For my safety, mind you. I like to think I'm not a terrible fighter. But because all the things they said about you... They were so... Positive. They all considered you a friend thing is, not a single human has ever made it past Asgore. After he re-declared war on humankind, six fallen humans were reduced to six souls, and I felt you would be no different. If you were kind to me, only to be killed by our king, I, I don't know what I'd do. I didn't want to lose anyone else, so I did my best to shut you out. I refused to like you. And then you finally appeared, asking about my day, showing concern, trying to make me laugh. God, I hate every minute of it. But, uh, I guess there's not, I guess there's not stopping you, huh? You're a mean, clean, befriending machine. <laughs> so, uh, Thanks for being so patient with me, and, uh... Sorry I tried to slice you open, I guess. These things happen. Red is feeling much better now. You're leaving already? 
Well, I guess you've got places to be, kings to meet. Hasgore is our king for a reason. But just because he's strong doesn't mean he's mean. If you ask nicely enough, you can be friends with him too. Knock him dead, champ. Don't actually kill anyone. If you do, I'll... I'll... I'll be real upset. So, don't do that, okay? Wow. This was so good. Yeah, I'm saying, uh, I guess it's fitting, but the genocide run took took me like 40 minutes to, to beat. And this took me, I'm at 17 minutes right now, so that wasn't too, <gasps> what is this? <laughs> Hello? Jeez, finally. I've been trying to call for you like 1,000 hours. Ever since you wandered off, Papyrus has been worried sick about you. And he won't stop making uh, what he's been calling his Rigetti Spaghetti. It's really, really salty. Where the heck did you go? What? How'd you end up all the way out there? You can't even get there from... Well, you better turn back. There's a really huge, ultra-powerful, super-gross monster there. Yeah, you'll get your butt kicked for sure. So, you met her, huh? She's a good kid, you know. You might think she's a bit too salt for a royal guard. But for one reason or another, the guard's kind of the only family she has. I assigned her over there specifically so she wouldn't have to fight you. But it sounds like things worked out, I guess. It's funny if you think about it. Her fear of making and losing a human friend felt pretty silly to me. But now, as your undisputed best friend, I could say it's 100% legit. So don't go dying on us or I'll give you something to die about. Oh no. Is it who I think it is? Wait, what? Hold it. So I forgot to tell you, uh, how to head back towards the core from there. But it's not going to be easy. It's going to be tough. It's going to be grueling. I hope you've been traveling for this day. Because I, it will test your metal and shake you to your soul. But with my guidance, you might be able to survive. Are you ready? Are you ready? Good. Here's what you got to do. You figure it out on yourself. Because I have no idea. Hop to it, nerd. Please be a phone call from Papyrus. No! Wait, what? Oh, a true reset. That's probably just with the uh, intro. Or not. The game stopped. But either way, uh, I hope you guys really did enjoy that. I, I really did. That was a really good fan game. My god. It was really good, so... Either way, like I said, I really enjoy these boss fights uh, fan games, but here's the thing. Some people have been suggesting some for, like, characters that are in Undertale. Not, like, I like the made-up ones, not redoing the ones from the game. Like, the dog, I know about the dog boss, but I, I can't, I'm not going to be doing that one. Uh, and then there's ones for Sans and Papyrus, but I'm not doing those. I like the made-up ones. So, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.